Can you brothers hear us now? No sound? Okay, I can hear you now. You can hear it? I can hear you now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I think, yeah, okay. So if we all good, you know what I'm saying? Um, shalom, shalom, okay. So we'll, we'll just pick up where we left off, you know what I'm saying? This Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7. It says, Wisdom is the principal thing, therefore give wisdom and uh, get understanding. That's right. So wisdom is the principal thing, you know what I'm saying? Therefore give wisdom, meaning priest up and then just the proper breakdown of the scriptures, you know what I'm saying? of everything but within that you know what I'm saying you have to apply the scriptures to your life uh beyond that you know what I'm saying depending on your certain measure in the faith more experience you know it, it, go read it again one time he said wisdom is the principal thing therefore get wisdom and with all thy getting get understanding with all thy getting get understanding man you know what I'm saying? So the understanding is kind of like the the, 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 the amalgamation of, you know, wisdom and knowledge and understanding. Amalgamation, like it. It's the amalgamation of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You know what I'm saying? Knowing how to basically judge, knowing how to discern situations, knowing when to use wisdom. Because sometimes it might not be feasible to use wisdom. Because like we started the video off, I know brothers couldn't hear, we was uh, saying, the nation seen that example where that cop pulled over Jake and all of a sudden, you know, saying he starts ranting, the heavenly father and his son. Yeah. Well, can I say this first? Yeah. He before, before uh he disrespected the police. Kind. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't, yeah. I ain't getting out the car. What yeah. You pull me over for? Yeah. All that hostile super nigga mess. You know what I'm saying? And then right. when the Lord when uh, when the when the when the, uh, when the laws moved on him, that's when he started screaming. Yeah, how about Shimmy? I was shot. Like you going into the brother didn't have no. No, uh, 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 wisdom and understanding. As soon as the police pulled him over, he started talking shit. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? In Matthew chapter 5, I got Matthew chapter 5 here, brother. Five, verse 25, it says, Agree with thine adversary quickly whilst thou art, uh, while thou art in the way with him. That's right. The scriptures say, Agree with thine adversary quickly mm -hmm. while thou's in the way with him. So, meaning, if a cop pulling a brother over, you should already, before he even asks, have your ID ready, yep. your proof of insurance, whatever the case may be, to make that situation go by as quickly as possible so you can get on with the hell on with your life, man. Yep. You don't want to give them any opportunity to suck. That's where a discernment comes into play. That's where understanding comes into play. Right? You know, because you got Jake out there that know that they're Israelites. They know the name of the Heavenly Father and the Son, which it seems like that guy in that video those things apply to him, but clearly he don't have no understanding. Right. Yeah. The white man don't give a damn about your rights, man. Exactly. Yo, you over here in America as a slave, man. Talk about sovereignty. You ain't <laughs> here, you ain't equal with the white man. Yeah. His kingdom. Exactly, brother. You need, yeah, Jake want to read all these curses that are upon us, but don't want to uh, think that you're a part of them, man. Right. Yeah, because. Jake want to think, even though we uh, emphasize uh, having a rulership mentality, Jake think they actually kings and rulers right now. Nigga, no. You're a slave. It's time that you win. Right. Now, we know that those uh, things that the Most High has prepared for the elect, those that are coming to kingdom. But right now, we have to live the lot as slaves and understanding and having this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Wait, wait. Right. Your, your steps have to be guided by wisdom. Uh, to discern certain situations, man. Even uh, having wisdom and knowledge, sometimes you can't play your hand. Like that example with the dude with the cop. That's one of them, uh, the, 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 the 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 main uh, uh, scenarios where you don't want to be proclaiming this thing about us like that, man. You just want to comply. Agree with thine adversary quickly, man. You know what I'm saying? It says why thou are in the way with him. So why he's standing outside your car and you sitting in the car yeah. getting all your stuff together. Because when you keep reading, it says, at least at any time, the adversary, which is the cop, okay. deliver you to the judge, yep. and the judge deliver you to the officer, which is the bailiff. Fit him lock your ass up. That's right. So if you agree with the motherfucker, why you, why you in the cop? You ain't got to worry about the judge and the bailiff and everybody else. Yeah, That's right. You, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
<laughs> you could have easily got to you could you could have easily agreed with the adversary, got to the crib, call up the brothers and be like, man, you know what? Yeah, how about shimmy how shot just looked down for me, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Police officer pulled me over. I wasn't even doing nothing, bro. All I did was I, he asked for my license registration. I just gave it to him. I agreed with him. That's a story to tell. That's but right. now you on YouTube looking crazy as hell. That's right. Come on, man. That's what I'm saying. The Lord didn't give us the instructions. Yeah, it's gonna always come a certain time where everything that you learn according to the scriptures is gonna have to be applied to your daily life, man. And whether or not you decide to uh, uh, follow the scriptures or not is, is is what's gonna determine what happened to your ass, man. Whether you get to go home that night or whether you get shot in the damn face. Yeah, because Jake don't think that the things that they're doing on these slow solo uh, foolish missing it affects the body, man. So you right. get jammed up. Now brothers gotta come to your defense, man. That you did not uh, uh, have a discernment after being a nigga. After being a nigga, not understanding the situation that you're in, man. Not applying wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Good morning, that brother. Yeah. It says, uh, "And the judge deliver thee to the officer, and thou be cast into prison." That's right. And the judge deliver thee to the officer, and you be cast into prison. And we behind enemy lines right now, man. The so-called white man, the nation of Edom, for reason he trapped you up right you don't give your enemy any type of uh leverage man to put you in a bad situation right let's sit on that, sit on that. uh go ahead and get proverbs uh two and ten all right i got you this is proverbs chapter two verse ten there is into thine heart and knowledge is pleasant unto thy soul discretion shall preserve thee understanding shall keep thee to deliver thee from the way of the evil man, <laughs> from the man that speaketh for over things. Hey, I'm, I'm going to have to back you up. I kind of want to slow it down. That's what I'm talking about. This is Proverbs chapter 2, verse 10. Some enter it into the heart, and knowledge is pleasant unto thy soul. Okay, so to your mind, you know what I'm saying? Your heart is your mind. The wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of this word, man, that's a beautiful thing, you know? on that because jake thinks that's where it is okay i'm an israelite you know i know all of this different stuff you know my life's been improved on certain levels but on that man you have to actively apply these things in your life knowing that we're in the valley of the shadow of death activity right now go ahead 11. discretion shall preserve thee understand it shall keep thee that's right it says discretion shall preserve thee if somebody look that word up. I don't know where I put my phone. You already had it. No. Kind of. Proverbs two and eleven. Yeah. It says discretion shall uh, preserve thee. What was that last part? Understanding shall keep thee. <clears throat> and understanding shall keep thee. And we just read earlier in Proverbs four and seven. Uh, wisdom is the principal thing. So get wisdom. Get what? Get understanding. Right. We'll talk about in Isaiah the thirty third chapter that wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of that time. Okay. Yeah, and that's talking about any time. That time when you get pulled over. Yeah. Knowledge, wisdom, and understanding is going to be your stability in that time, man. To agree with the adversary, you know what I'm saying? And so on and so forth to where you can get up out of that situation, man. I said, I'll never forget that time. One time this officer asked me, he was like, why are you so nervous, man? What's wrong with you? I was yeah. like, man, you can do whatever you want. Exactly. You can do whatever you want, and I can't do nothing. Exactly. That's why I'm so nervous. And once he, once he recognized, then I recognize that power shit. He let me go. Exactly. Shit. Because we got to understand also that the Most High set up the nation of Edom to rule over us right now, man. Yep. We're serving out a punishment, man. So understanding the time that we're in, all, you know, saying orchestrated by the, the will of the Heavenly Father, discernment. you got to show understanding. That's what's going to preserve you. You got to show the Lord that you understand his instructions. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. If you just gonna be a nigga, take your shirt off and fuck that. Is. No, man, that's not what the Lord told us to do. That's right. And therefore, He gonna give you over to your enemies. And that go in every aspect of life, man. We just, you know, if you face on with a, a, a getting pulled over, but even out on the highways and the byways, man, the conduct that you gotta show right. just to be able to push the word, man. Yourself or uh, try to. Push your own carnal agenda, man. Uh, Understanding that there's a bigger task at hand. Select. But the brother's going to break down that word, uh, the, the turn. Yeah. yeah, it has the turn. It has uh, purpose, discretion, device, plot. Uh, purpose, man. Mm -hmm. 
So a, a lot of Jake, man, they living their life without no purpose. Hey, remember them damn books, man, Purpose Driven Life? Yeah. What you living for? What you going out and proclaiming the name of the Heavenly Father and His Son? You know what I'm saying? Or screaming on this society? You, you got to have purpose in, in, in how you act, you live in your life, man. You got to live with purpose. It's my elders to have thought to have thought, devise, plan, consider, purpose, to consider. Why am I in this situation? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? What's the purpose of me being in this situation? And I got to figure out the spiritual aspect to be able to get out of it because the Lord always gives us a way out. That's right. You know what I'm saying? The spiritual aspect of how to get out that situation, you're going to end up looking bad out there. You know what I'm saying? That's why you got to get as much understanding out of these scriptures as you can. Because right. every single situation, that's just like when Peter and the disciples, when they got their ass whooped, mm -hmm. uh, and, and then they uh, they say, don't be teaching in the name. And, mm -hmm. You know, when Paul got lowered down in the basket, they didn't know how they was going to get out of those situations. An uh, angel popped Pete on top of the head and said, hey, 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 put all your shit on. Let's go. That's right. Let's get out of here. You know what I'm saying? Moses didn't know how he was going to make sure all those people wasn't thirsty no more. It's about, man. That's right, brother. You got to let the spirit take over, man. That's what I'm saying. When you left your own devices, man, anytime we left our own devices, man, we go astray, man. And that's how it's been for the, throughout the history of Israel, man. Even up until this day. Even up until this day. You got more than that? Uh, no, that's, that's pretty much it. That's the time. So you just basically you considering, you considering your choices that you're making mm -hmm. and uh, yep. what you're going to get out of all of it, man. Yep. Right. Before that, you act. Yeah, in that situation with the cops, man. That's what the time for got pulled over and pulled out the car. I've been pulled over pulled out the car, you know? Get the, the, the information that the cop wants, you know? And shit. Yeah, you know, exactly. man. Exactly. You know, I drove down like you motherfucking cops, yo. Hey, fuck these goddamn cops. That's you know? all you got to do. But at the end of the day, yep. Play to that, uh, to that, uh, to the power that be. That's right, brother. He had it to where these uh, cops are crooked. They are wicked. They are evil. Mm -hmm. Y'all understand that, man? That's why you how I got on Peter when he said, you know, he cut off the other mouth. It wasn't all that time for all that, man. Exactly. Yep. Peter to yeah. force the most high's hand to lock it, brother. Oh, man, had way more power than that, man. Peter lifted the spirit out of a man's body, man. And him back right. to the spirit world. He had the spiritual power to do things like that. You not read the story, you know, Ananias and Safari? He put him to death. He raised somebody up. He didn't go to jail. Uh oh, who was that? Uh, <laughs> you know, know that was Dorcas. That was Dorcas he raised up. Yeah. Yeah, she was out of there. So you got to think about your situation. You ain't got to even the power to do that. You know? Well, right. as, as weak as we are, man, it's easier to leave it up to the Heavenly Father. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> what you, that's what I'm saying. What you gonna do? What you gonna, you gonna do? You gonna hulk up? You gonna you gonna turn big and green and fuck the city up? No, man. To jail. <laughs> that's right. So we're we're waiting for the Most High's power to be made uh, to be shown through us, man. You know. That's right. You ain't gonna get bit by a radioactive spider. I keep saying that, man. They ain't no, you ain't gonna have no black cat suit that your grandfather gave you to where you have these powers over the white man. 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 Get your mind out of fairy tale land. Don't tell trust me. Trust me, how about shot? That's right. You know, they don't mean screaming how about shooting y'all shot to the, the police. You yeah. probably think you're saying some um, Arabic exactly. or some Muslim yeah. land. Exactly. They're gonna, they gonna pay you as a terrorist, man. Exactly. You gotta have discernment, man. And in the faith, man, use that as an example. That's not the lot that we're supposed to be operating in in any way of life, but especially if we're uh, the officer, man, just comply. We want to keep ourselves in a position to be able to go out and teach this word while the most high is allowing. You know what I'm saying? Go, go back to that. Uh, just finish it up. Right. This is uh, Proverbs chapter 2, verse 10. Enter it into thine heart. And knowledge is pleasant unto thy soul. Discretion shall preserve thee. Understanding shall keep thee. Mm -hmm. To deliver thee from the way of the evil man, from the man that speaketh forward things. That's right. To deliver thee out of the way of the wicked man, from the man that speaketh forward things. For the so-called white man. 
the scripture says that uh, the elect, man, we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. He saw, we already know that certain uh, uh, police departments, they're known for planting evidence, all of this uh, uh, training day tactics to try to trip Jake up. So knowing that we're under the hand of wicked rulership, under wicked men, and we're going into these centurions right now, wouldn't you want to comply to make that situation more beneficial for you? Just by showing wisdom, man, having discernment in those situations. Go ahead. Acts chapter 12. Okay, okay. This is uh, verse 11, uh, verse 12, Proverbs 2 and 12. On the hand of the evil man, uh, to deliver thee from the way of the evil man, from the man that speaketh forward things, mm -hmm. who leave the paths of, right, of uprightness to walk in the ways of darkness. That's right, who leave the ways of uprightness to walk in the paths of darkness. So basically, when you're being out of order, when you're not uh, using spiritual discernment, being Spiritual, when you're being carnal, yep. you know what I'm saying, you're walking in wickedness. At all. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, a lot of these Israelite camps, they just want to talk about just keeping the law, keeping the commandments. But you actually have to be a judge, man. The most high, he's raising up a nation of judges. And we know that the scriptures uh, talk about that we're rehearsing the righteous acts right now. We can't keep the laws perfectly. Based on whatever the situation, uh, dictate in the spirit to operate that's being spiritual you know what i'm saying the spirit is always going to uh, outweigh the things written in the law expect to keep the law man but the law is spiritual the scriptures say man if a man uses spiritual so you got to know when uh to apply certain things that are within the law man understanding the the, the leadership and the setup that we in but I wanted to get uh, First Peter five and eight. Did you have another one? Okay, kind. We got we got two accounts. When Peter got delivered from prison, kind, and kind. when Paul got delivered from prison, kind, kind. That's beautiful. <clears throat> this is uh, First Peter chapter five verse eight. Uh, be sober, be diligent, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. That's right. So the scriptures say, be sober and be be vigilant. You know what I'm saying? And it's not talking about be sober or wine, man. Right. It's talking about having a sober mind, man. In the spirit. You know what I'm saying? It says, what's that word vigilant mean? Can somebody look that up? Can you read it again while he's it up? This is uh, 1 Peter 4 and 8, 5 and 8. Right? Uh, be sober, be, be diligent, vigilant, vigilant excuse me, uh, because your adversary the devil as a royal lion walketh about. It's about. It says your adversary. And what's that word adversary? Sh Shaitan or Satan. Comes around seeking who he may devour, man. So knowing these things, man, wouldn't you want to be in a sober state of mind with a, to a, with a cop or an officer that you know he has the power to just uh, pull out his damn billy club, beat you to death, or just shoot you, man. Yeah, tase you, do whatever you want to do. You plant evidence, like I was saying earlier, get you trapped up in a prison house, man. You want to be sober in that, in that, in that, in that, in that uh, scenario? When you want to be vigilant, go ahead. He's going to break down the word vigilant in that scripture. Okay, the word vigilant in the uh, Gregorio, and it means to watch. Wow, it says Gregorio. That's for the Gregorian calendar. You know what I'm saying? To watch. Mm -hmm. So that means yeah. you got to pay the hell attention. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Give strict attention to. Give strict attention. Oh, man. Slow down. It says give strict attention to. <laughs> give strict attention to, man. Yep. Be a caution. Like you ought to always know the situations that you're in. Because it had even been situations in the past. Or and just brothers. It may not even been nothing particular going on. But just brothers just had a this feeling in the spirit, hey man. After this drink, yeah, man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You might see something going on the corner. Exactly. You, like, or you know what I'm saying? Somebody talking real slick to you for no reason. That's right. And instead of like having an attitude about it or trying to get into it with that person, uh -huh. you're like you know what? Just you just shake this spot, you know? Get out of here. Exactly. In your life, you have to be in the same mindset. You have to have strict attention, man. You have to have caution, man. Yeah. You know? 
Dictionary.com. It says to take heed lest through remission, lesson some destructive calamity suddenly overtake one. That's right. So man. if you're not being sober and diligent, man, you're gonna, you're gonna get caught out there, man. <laughs> you're gonna get caught up in a, in a calamity. Yeah. It says sudden, some <laughs> destructive calamity suddenly overtake this. I mean, things were all good, yep. and then suddenly she just yep. turned yep. bad, man. When you stop paying attention, it jumped all over you. Exactly. You could have just got a ticket for a broken cell light or whatever, but then now your ass is high in head. Yep. You on world star hip hop, and you, you in sue. jail, man. And you locked up. Yeah. yeah. Talking yeah. about you go sue. Car impounded. Yeah. Like, car impounded. Your whole life, basically, you can go homeless by just making one just a carnal move, man. Yeah. You can just ruin your whole life, man. Right. <laughs> It, that's why I said, what did it say? Sudden calamity? Yep, it says destructive calamity suddenly overtake one. Yep. Suddenly overtake one. So everything was all good, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. And then just by you making just one uh, move, not paying attention, yep. not being in the spirit, you out of there now. True. You know? This is a uh, vision in the uh, dictionary.com. It says keenly watchful to detect danger, <laughs> to be wary, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. To know that you're surrounded by wickedness. That's right. It says, ever ever wake and alert, sleeplessly watchful. That's sleeplessly right. Watchful. Sleeplessly watchful, man. I mean, you always, you got to always be on top of it, man. That's you right. know what I'm saying? Because that's, I mean, again, that was one of, that's, that's the role of, that is our role in this thing, to be the watchman. Exactly. Why? Because you see that the danger's coming. That's right. You know? And it's that one time where you, you take it easy that one night, infiltrate the damn cap because your ass went to sleep on your pokey. That's right, brother. You know? Put in the in the terms of that you gotta pay attention to what's going on. You always keep your head on the swivel, man. That's right, right. You go out in the world, you gotta get into the matrix. Hey, can somebody you know? please uh Bob Shot get Ephesians five and fifteen? And I'm gonna let you did you have it just in the dictionary? No 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 I just, I, I read what you already read it. Yeah. Okay. Was it more than five? five? Yeah. Five and fifteen, and then I'll let y'all get some accounts. Come on. Ephesians five and fifteen. And ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. That's right. So it says, see then that you walk circumspectly, just like we went into. We broke down that word vigilant, man. Being sleepless, sleeplessly. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Aware, yeah. strict yeah. attention. Yeah. That word circumspect means to look around. Circle means around. Inspect means to watch. You got to watch what's going on around you. Right. You have to consider the danger looming before you in this setup that we in, man. So with then understanding that, you got to guide your steps. Yep, that's right. You got to judge, man. Like, I, I finally seen that movie Limitless, man, yeah. last week. Yeah. And it's just like that. If brothers it's have seen that movie Limitless, made a decision. He basically got like scenarios or options like before him. Like, okay, what's gonna happen if I go that route? Okay, what's gonna happen if I take that uh route? And that's how you gotta play it out in your mind, man. And any decision you make, right? You gotta you gotta be uh uh considerate of, of, of what type of situation you're in, basically. Exactly. You gotta trust in the heavenly father. That's right. Mm -hmm. Being prudent, man. Right. When we look at that word prudent, man, really that word goes into foreseen things. And like in the movie Limitless, man, he foreseen he foreseen certain scenarios what would happen. You know, that's what wise judgment that's what wise judgment is, man. You take you take one thing and you split it up between different scenarios, like okay, if I do this, I know this is the outcome. If I drive if I drive seventy miles per hour on a forty five mile uh, forty five mile per hour speed limit, mm -hmm. I have a I have a strong chance I'm gonna get a ticket. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna I'm gonna drive the speed limit of five miles per hour over it. Man, don't get pulled over. And we just read in First Peter the fourth chapter. You know that your enemy, the, the Satan, a roaring lion seeking who he may devour. Why would you give him a chance to trap you up? Nigga sitting behind a billboard with that yeah. with that yeah. bee gun. <laughs> He's ready. That's, Wait, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 But he got your yeah. camera speed yep. two miles back. Good. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I got you for that one. You know what I'm saying? Man, I got a few. We're going to get a couple of counts. You go ahead. All right. The Ecclesiastes chapter 13, verse 12 says, uh, I'm sorry, verse 13. Observe and take good heed, for thou walkest in peril of thy overthrow. These things awaken my sleep. 
you can break it down. Nah, no, you know, so you got to observe, which observe means to see, to perceive, and to know, and to take good heed, to right, understand, brother. and to watch. All right, but thou walkest in the peril of thy overthrow, man. This whole place that we live in called America, is this world that we live in, it's designed for your overthrow and for your destruction at the end of the day, man. That's right. But if you if you keep your if you keep your eye single and follow that straight gate, okay, and follow after the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man, he's the only way out of this scenario, man. Exactly, brother. Satan creeping around all over the goddamn place trying to figure out who man all day, every day, man. Yeah. And man, I, I I I ain't gonna get too far talking, but I must mention it because it kind of got me back, man. This fucking nigga, man, bitch made ass nigga Tyreek Nasheed talking shit, man, yeah. about the brothers out in the UK talking about because it was some Edomite came up, you know what I'm saying, just doing the most like on a level like that. The brothers clearly, you know, they weren't shook or threatened. Yeah. Like he went, he he just got a little close to the camera, you know, he was just being a demon, but it wasn't like that. Yeah. And the brothers were just being wise, you know what I'm saying? But he talking about that they should have laid them out, talking about, you know what I'm saying, you got these guys, you know what I'm saying, they go out on the corners and screaming at everybody, but you had a situation where the premises came and he was doing too much, they should have laid his ass up. Like he would have did something, man. Says the nigga that was watching the video. Exactly. Says the nigga that was watching the video, man. We put our life on the line for the whole nation. Why? Like niggas like that just talk shit all day. Is Tariq the shit on the highway? No, he's not. Case closed. And he's a sellout, man, on top of that. Case closed. You know what I'm saying? But the point point I wanted to get into, man, we not carnal men. Now, we always say we ain't no choir boys either. Like we're on the highways and the byways, and we still threat, we're going to defend ourselves, man. You know what I'm saying? Because that's being wise. Yeah. But at the same time, we understand that this is a spiritual battle. Right. So we always have to be activated in the spirit, man. We ain't in the position to be trying to be carnal right now. Yeah. That's what they looking for, man. Right. We pushed the so-called weight, man. Now the whole camp getting hemmed up. Now the word can't go out. Yeah, yeah man. But I, I just have to put that out there just to reinforce, man, that it sucks taking the low all the time. Yeah. Sometimes you want to get cornered with these people, but you got to understand the bigger picture, man. We're in this for the long haul through suffering like the Howard Shot did. You know? All right, man. Jake want to win a fucking battle. Yeah, that was, you can't even win that. You can't listen to a nigga named Tariq. Yeah, man, but I, I just want to mention that because I've seen that shit, man. It just yeah. makes my spirit, man, one yeah. morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna give one real quick to lock you, brother. No, 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 go ahead. This is uh Ephesians 6. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. In the power of his might. So, if the spirit was on them brothers to fall back in that situation, so that's uh, 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 uh kudos in the eyes of the heavenly father because he did uh, they did what they were instructed to do according to his will, not some faggot ass nigga named Tariq. <laughs> Give a fuck about looking Clown, good man. in front of Tariq. Go ahead. Yeah, it says, verse 11, put on the whole armor of the Most High. Put on the whole armor of the Most High, not Tariq. It don't say nothing about putting on the whole armor of Tariq. All right. And the more I thought about it, like, the Esau may be using guys like this to try to set us up. Yeah. To try to get us roused yeah. up to go to, to, get us to, be niggas. Yeah. to get us to be niggas. And we get trapped up. And then he'll be on the sideline talking shit about that, too. Yeah. You well, know? I can't listen to a nigga named Tariq. Clowns, man. But it says, uh, put on the whole armor of the Most High that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. That's what I'm saying. You put on the whole armor of the Most High, you know what I'm saying? The comment board, and people uh, coming up trying to start stuff to get you hemmed up. That's not going to, you're going to see right through that stuff. Man, you're going to glorify your how about your how shy by teaching the word and staying obedient, man. Go ahead. Kind it says uh, verse twelve. It says, "For we wrestle not against flesh and blood." Reality. He should have laid him out. Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. I would say it was a demon that was on that man that we had to see through the demon so they could be able to get out of that situation, man. They would have fell right into his hands, man. Right. And that's the whole point: not being carnal. Go ahead. It says, uh, "But against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world." That is so much more than a nigga, man. That's right. Is the powers and rulers of the darkness. That's more than a nigga, man. <laughs> That's more. <laughs> we got bigger fish to fry, bro. Go ahead. 
against spiritual wickedness in high places. Go to read that again. It says, uh, for we, uh, uh, six and 12, it says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. That's what I'm saying. Laying that dude out would have been wrestling with flesh and blood. What the scripture blood. just said, don't do that. Exactly. The sacrifice, bro. That's right. Go ahead. It says, but against principalities, against powers, uh -huh. against the rulers of the darkness of this world. That's what I'm saying, man. We got to worry about the rulers of the darkness of this world, man. Right. More than we got to worry about some Edomite that's down there on the uh, on the corner that was purposely sent out there to get you off the street. That's that. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Yeah. You tell, you tell people, he, he saw the devil and they're going to be destroyed. Don't you think there's going to be some Edomites that come up there? It's niggas on the comment board that's mad. <laughs> So, yeah, it's a no brainer. Get mad at every every mic because we don't got that. Get you, man. Like that. Exactly, man. And you got to understand too that we're in the kingdom that's controlled by Satan. Right. This is Satan's kingdom. Right. Go that's ahead, why brother. Shah, that's why Yahweh Shah says, if this were my kingdom, my servants would fight. Man, oh. we're not in this world. That's right. <laughs> we're not, that's we're right. not of this world. That's God. right. God. We are from above, and we are they are from beneath. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, how was shot? Gave the guideline. If this was his kingdom, then yeah, we gonna get down, man. Yep. But right now, we have to get down spiritually. That's right. Word, this truth, this is our only weapon right now, yes, because sir. we're trying to tr tear down this uh, stronghold of lies that ha have encapsulated the earth in darkness, man. That's right. You know. Going, I'm gonna read thirteen, uh, Ephesians six and thirteen, and it says. To you, the whole armor of the Most High, mm -hmm. that he may be able to withstand in the evil day, to stand. So this is standing up, really, too, at the end of the day, because they think we're going to uh weapons together. We're going to get the black dollar together. We're just going to go in, and somehow we're going we gonna to get some rocket launchers. <laughs> no. This is, this is how we're standing up, man. We're standing up for truth. Right. We're standing up in the spirit of faith, man. We hoping for the power to, to come uh, to come along, man, in this appointed time. Right. You know? Did you read that last part one more time? Huh, brother. Huh, it says, and having done all Yeah, I'm sorry. I'll read the whole verse. Yeah. Uh, Philippians 6 and 13, it says, Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of the Most High, right. that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. That ye, uh, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, man. We're not looking to stay here, like the brother said, fight carnal battles. Man, his blessing is the sword, okay, media, everything that everything in this world is his blessing. But it tells you at the end there, so in that evil day, you may you may be able to withstand. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to be able to stand up in that last day and not be cast down. Exactly. Because when all hell break loose, man. Be dying left and right. You know what I'm saying? So we gotta have the whole arm. We gotta we gotta keep this word and be wise. It, it tells you wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability exactly. of the time, man. Exactly. That's right. So being wise in the scenario when it when it like the brother said, when an Edomite that was sit down there to come and distract the camp, what are we gonna do in that in that time? Let the flesh take over? Oh man, I don't like the way he was in my face and you know I had to, I had to hit him, you know, he didn't touch him. Mm -hmm. That's what Esau looking for, man. Yep. You know, but a, but a dumbass, stupid, carnal ass nigga, a computer on a common board and shit, gonna be. Uh, if I was there, I would have like, man, that's your bitch ass. Shit, man. You know, I ain't gonna bust a grape in a food fight. You know what I'm saying? All right, break it out. Then we get into these accounts. Huh? This is Romans chapter 15, verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, uh -huh. that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. That's what I'm saying, man. These stories were put in these, well, these accounts, not just stories. These accounts that our forefathers went through. Delivered from prison, we're going to get what Paul was delivered from prison. Both of those men were heavy in the spirit, man. That's right. They understood what was going on. They understood the times that they was in. They understood everything that they needed to understand to be delivered from that situation. All they had to do was be obedient. You know what I'm saying? They could have walked the house and probably won a couple of battles. That's not what it was, man. Right. You know? I got a this is Acts chapter twelve. Start at the top. You want to start at the top? Yeah, we start at the top. Acts twelve and one. It says, Now about that time Herod the king stretched forth his hands to vex certain of the church. Then he killed James, the brother of John, with the sword. Mm -hmm. And because he saw it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also. 
Now, see, now keep in mind, these are the disciples. The Lord, I would say the Lord had already been taken out. You know what I'm saying? So they, they, they've been scattering. They're starting to kill them one by one. Uh, Peter understands what time he's in. He's on the run, pretty much. Go ahead. Uh-huh. Then, uh, then were the days of the unleavened bread, this past one. Mm -hmm. and uh, when he had apprehended him, prison and delivered him to the four of soldiers uh, to keep him, and intending after Easter to bring him forth to the people. A quaternium, that's like what, uh, 40, like four, yes, yeah, it's, it's like a. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a it's a a squad of officers pretty yeah, much. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. That was all that was all look, y'all y'all ain't got y'all ain't got to do nothing but make sure Peter and stay in jail. Right. Until after the pass on. Right. Exactly. Right? Uh, verse five. Peter therefore was kept in prison, but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto Yahweh for him. So if a brother do get locked up, if a brother do get held up, the rest of the camp is prayer to the Heavenly Father for his deliverance. Right, because you can imagine how they feel, especially knowing that they killed one of the brothers, man. It's just... You know what I'm saying? They're saying it's echoing. Okay. Just let us know how it sounds now, brother. No, nah, that's just a page. I was just watching it on. Oh, okay. see. Okay. Since Peter therefore was kept in prison, but prayer was, was made without ceasing of the church until Yahweh. It's a prayer was made by the church. If they didn't go click up and go get their pistols, we're going to go ride and we're going to get Peter. Fuck that. Yeah. No. Father, man. Go ahead. Uh, verse 6. Okay. The water, yeah. And when Herod would have brought him forth, was sleeping between Peter wasn't tripping. You know what I'm saying? Peter understood what time he was in. Shit, Peter was asleep. Bound with two chains, keepers before the door kept the prison. Uh huh. And behold, the angels of He bound with two chains. They got officers right outside his cell. Two of them right there while you're sleeping, just holding this. Going nowhere. Go ahead. The angel of the Lord came upon him, and a light shined in the prison. And he smote Peter on the side and raised him up, saying, Rise up quickly. Hey, Peter, get up. Get up. Come on, man. This is this our opportunity. Let's go. Yep. Go ahead. And his chains fell from uh, chains fell from his hands. He got an angel in the cell with him. Go ahead. And the angel said to him, Gird thyself, uh, bind on thy sandals. Um, put your shoes on, man. Get your clothes. Let's go. And he said to him, Cast thy garment about thee and follow me. That's what I'm saying. Peter was obedient, man. Peter was in the spirit. Peter didn't panic. He didn't try to fight. He agreed with his adversary very quickly, man. And now look, it's an angel in the cell with him, waking him up, telling him, Let's go. And he, he went out and followed him, and, um, with not that it was uh, true, which was done by the angel, but a vision. See, Peter thought he was tripping. Mm -hmm. Peter, Peter thought, Peter thought he was—he thought he was in a dream. He yeah. thought he was in a trance. That this angel was coming to deliver him, but not. It was happening for real. <laughs> he was—it was really going down. Go ahead. First and the second ward, the iron gate that led it. When they passed the first ward, they was good. When they passed the second ward, they was good. Go mm -hmm. ahead. They came into the. To the city. They came into the iron gate, they led him to the city. Now keep in mind, just five minutes ago, he was in a cell with shackles on, officers all up his ass. You know what I'm saying? Open uh, to them of his own accord. Mm -hmm. And they went out and passed on through one street and forth with the angel departed from him. He's completely out of jail now. So the angel is gone. He what he was set up to do. He said to get him out of jail. Go ahead. And when Peter would come to himself, he said, Now I know of a that the Lord has sent his angel. He said, The water you have by Shem Yahweh was shot for getting me out of here. I didn't know what the hell I was going to do. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Man, the Lord just looked out for me, bro. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? 
<laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> and have delivered me out of the hand of Herod temptations of the people of the Jews. That's what I'm saying. Herod had just cut off James' head earlier. Yep. So you know Peter was like, what the? Huh? But he held it together. Uh huh. He said, and from all the expectation of the people of the Jews, and considered the thing, he came to the house of Mary, the mother of John, whose surname was Mark, mm -hmm. where many were gathered together praying. That's what I'm saying. Everybody who was praying for him, they was like, man, they killed James earlier. So they you know what I'm saying? saying? You know what I'm saying? Praying. He was just like, nah, nah. This wasn't no, like you know two o'clock in the afternoon, man. This is probably real, either real late at night, yeah. or in the morning. And you still got the, you still got the church praying for him. Yeah, like, still up. You know what I'm saying? That's right. It's like yeah. earnest prayer. You know, yep. uh, night and day praying. Yeah. And as Peter knocked at the door of the gate, a damsel came to. Harkin uh, named uh, Rhoda. She knew Peter's voice. And she opened come not the to gate me. for gladness, ran in and told how Peter stood before the gate. She said, Look, hey. <laughs> yeah. She said, Peter outside. I just talked to him. Go ahead. And they said to her, Thou art mad. You tripping. They killed James earlier. They took Peter away the same time. What you mean? What you mean, Peter outside? Go ahead. But she constantly affirmed that it was uh, even so. She said, look, what, you think I'm going to come tell y'all Peter outside? If Peter ain't outside, go ahead. It is his angel. They thought he was dead. No. No. But Peter continued knocking. And when they had opened the door and saw him, they were astonished. That's what I'm saying. Hey, baby. You know what I'm saying? Peter was like, look, the Lord looked out for me, man. That's right. Go ahead. Let me make a quick point, too. Yeah, on, huh? on verse 15, I just, I just read, I just wanted to notice it says, and they said unto her, thou art mad. They affirmed that it was even so. Then said they, man, in, in dire situations, man, he has an actual angel that's actually determined probably for you, man, for huh? your own circumstances. Man. No, brother. Angel. You know, they thought they thought they were seeing his angel at that time. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it said uh at verse uh seventeen, but he beckoning unto them with the hand to hold their peace, them how the Lord had brought him out of prison. That's what I'm saying. Hey, hey, chill out, chill out, chill out. Y'all too loud, y'all gonna get me caught up. Right. But that's what I'm saying. I came here to, I came here to, to reassure y'all that the Lord is dealing with us, man. He just delivered me. That's why I came here, so I can tell y'all. Go ahead. Go show these things to James and to the brethren. Go get James. Go get the rest of the disciples and tell them I'm over here. Parted and went to another place. Mm -hmm. He had to go somewhere else. He was on the run still. Mm -hmm. I heard to let y'all know that I'm cool. Go tell the rest of the apostles where to meet me. Now, as soon as it was day, there was no small stir among the soldiers. Like the brother said, it was overnight. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Here. For him and found him not. And commanded that they should be put to death. Ooh. And he, so I want to say, y'all had chains. Y'all had four or five different officers. Y'all had all this stuff. And he gone. What the hell you mean, man? Kill these niggas. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> he went down to Judea to Caesar and, and their boat. That's pretty much it on that. All right. Also, you can get something off the comment board. Yeah, uh, the brother uh, Samak Apot sure on the comment board. I'm gonna just get that. Uh, this is uh, Psalms 27 and 5. It says, "Trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion." And mm -hmm. I looked up that word pavilion in the uh, blue letter. It basically means tabernacle. Yeah. It says, "His tabernacle shall he hide me. Mm -hmm. He shall set me upon a rock." Let men, you know, through the spirit of wisdom, through faith, we hope in the times of trouble, we're going to be here, man, That's right. out of danger. To watch, man. That's right. So that the most high through that mercy, he'll, he'll, he'll hide us, man. That's right, brother. You know? So that's a good scripture to water, man. Another one? You said in Acts 9 about the... Uh, when Peter got lifted down, I mean, Paul got lifted down to the basket. Right. 25. 25. 25. 25. Uh, Peter. 
Okay, I'm gonna start then. I'm gonna start a little higher than this. Is All right. Nine. This is another account. This is another account where an apostle was delivered. Kyle out. He didn't panic, man. I started verse uh, 15, just so we can get to the point where we're talking about. Come on. Come on. Verse 15. Come on. 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 Things he must suffer for my name's sake. I'm gonna show Paul how much great things he must suffer for my name's sake. Paul was okay with that. And an eyes went his way and entered into the house and putting his hands on him and said, Brother Saul, how wish thou that appeared unto thee in the way as thou camest, that thou mightest receive thy sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit? Mm -hmm. And immediately there fell from his eyes as it had been scaled for with and arose and was baptized. That's what I'm saying. Basically, Paul was born again. This is going into Paul's conversion. Being in the spirit of your power, your how about shimmy, how was shot, no longer saw lost. Go ahead. Come. Verse 19. Meet, he was strengthened the days with the disciples which preached Yahweh Shai in the synagogue. Most high. Mm -hmm. But all that heard him were amazed and said, Is this, is not this he which called on his name in Jerusalem? You know what I'm saying? Paul was born again. So he was preaching Yahweh Shai at this point. And they were like, uh, what the hell? You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. God. The intent that he might bring them down into the chief priests. Mm -hmm. More in strength and confounded the Jews who dwelt at Damascus. That's what I'm saying. He was speaking so much truth that they couldn't deal with it. They couldn't. He was telling the truth. So you can talk about Saul all day. This Paul you're dealing with right here. Kind of, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead. The Jews which dwell at Damascus, proving that this that this is very Yahweh Shah. Mm -hmm. After that many days were fulfilled, the Jews took counsel to kill him. That's what I'm saying. Now the shoe on the other foot. Seeing how it was when he was chasing Shah. So keep in mind how heavy Paul's burden is. Killing people that believe on Yahweh, why Yahweh shy is heavier than anybody. You know what I'm saying? Now they, now they want to kill him. So that's that's a, that's his own personal hell that he got to deal with. That's right. Because the shoe on the other foot now. But did he panic? Did he bench out? Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, but verse 24. But their laying a weight was known to Saul. Mm -hmm. And they watched the gate day and night to kill him. Uh huh. Then the disciples took him by the night and let him down by the wall in a basket. Uh huh. To Jerusalem, he is saved to join himself to the disciples, but they were all afraid of him uh -huh. and believed not that he was a disciple. That's what I'm saying. Now keep in mind, he went from he went from killing believers to now he a believer to the people who he was helping get the believers. Believers, they want to kill him now. Now he got to go face the apostles who he was chasing. Like, damn, is he an agent? They probably he got, he, was he got plenty of opportunity to panic. Mm -hmm. He got plenty of opportunity to say the hell with this. He got plenty of opportunity to tuck tail and run. Yep. Save the mic and switch the doctrine up and try to save face and be an asshole. He didn't do none of that. He had the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, and the faith in that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that all I got to do is hold fast. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, verse 27. Uh, but Barnabas took him and brought him to the apostles. How he had seen oh, yeah. the Lord in the way, uh -huh. and that he had spoken to him, and how he had preached boldly at Damascus in the name of Yahweh Shah. He's like, look, man, I see him bringing it out. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking the Saul is a piece of shit just like y'all. But look, I've seen it, bro. I've seen it. Go ahead. Huh. He and he and he was with them coming in and going out of Jerusalem. In the name of the, of the Lord Yahweh Shai, and disputed against the Grecians, but they went about to slay him. That's that's pretty. Yeah, yeah. I I saying, but but, 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 but that was a, we wanted to get those two accounts 
because we were talking about two men that that could have been. They was in the in the uh what like uh, Ariana said. They was under the threat of imminent death. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And they didn't panic, man. Right, because they didn't trust Paul really still. You know, <laughs> exactly. Saying? The brother Ariala, he just put, they thought Paul was an agent. Yeah. Because they thought he was still coming in the spirit of Saul. Right. Right, man. But uh, I wanted to get another scripture. The brother, a brother, a son, Mark, a pot posted up on the, on the comment board. It, it's, it's a real quick hitter. This is Psalms 34 and 15. It says, the eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, mm -hmm. and his ears are open unto their cross. That's what I'm saying, man. That's why that's why those prayers that went up to get Peter delivered was answered. Yo. We gotta trust in the Heavenly Father, man. That's what I'm saying. I'll let I'll let I would have laid him out and now I'm a grown ass man and all that shit, man. That's gonna get you killed, man. We're coming into it, man. We don't know who's gonna stab us in the back. Lord willing, we don't we those men that continue right. to endure for this faith. We trying to turn uh, you in. Yep. People in the world that maybe was cool your whole damn life, they turning you in. Yep. So that's why we're gonna have to depend, man. We're gonna have to trust in the Lord. Yep. But within that, we gotta uh basically conduct ourselves a certain way. That's right. So that the most high will be in his favor. Preparing our spirit for that because we we have been through that. With, with, with guys you bring into your home, you toil in this faith and this truth with them. And they fall out and they become one of your worst enemies, man. That's right, that's right. So we we dealt with that personally. Man. They know your secrets. Yeah, yeah they mm -hmm. know all your secrets, the good, the bad, the ugly, man. You know, and then they try to use that against you, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's right. You know? The Lord was uh, yeah, was pretty y'all about shooting out shot. That's that's why when Judas flipped out on him, he wasn't really tripping, man. That's right. He probably was cursing them out. <laughs> I imagine as a, as a, the last stuff, he was he probably he, Giving us all the you know, no real, you know, they try to make it seem like it was a peaceful, chill, yeah, you no, know, it was but very I mean, intense. I mean, it was very intense. I mean, I mean, yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. you gonna betray me, you know? <laughs> man, you know, I bet it was real fired right. up, man. It was a heavy night, man. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I, no, go ahead. I, I was gonna say, in, in the, somewhere in the gospel, that talks about at the last, at the last, uh, pretty much they were reasoning amongst themselves, like, uh, they were reasoning the monks themselves like, man, I bet it's him. And so you got to think everybody in their mind is thinking like, yeah. it's not me, so it got to be probably this nigga. It's the same with like, us. If it him. was something like, you know? you know, if it was a situation where there was a traitor in the in, in the squad, yeah. like we all will be in that same mind yeah. frame because we're in the flesh. Yeah. We're like, if, if you know it ain't true, you're like, man, I'm, you're going to be looking at the next man, you know, <laughs> a certain type of way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the trust man. levels going to change, man. I'm coming into now, man. That's why that faith, you know what I'm saying, and your how about Shimyao Shah gonna be so important. That wisdom and knowledge is gonna be so important. Oh, Understanding yeah. everything that our forefathers of four time, yeah. the things that they've been through, man, it's gonna take all of that to right. endure because you don't you don't know who turn friend or or, or turn foe. Right. You know? And that's why you have this balance with it because anytime you get a phone call from a brother and he says, Hey, I need to talk to you. You know, it's like, oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? But that's because you have the respect for what that man thinks about you. And that lawyer, you're like, okay, do I have to him? What do I do? And it could be nothing. You're like, hey, man, I need to borrow your car. Uh huh. Is that all? Yeah. Like, yeah, 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 bro. Yeah. 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 It's already full, brother. Yeah. It's, all, well, it's, it's a balance because you have reverence and love and respect, but at the same time, going on to where you know that it is going to be times where you're looking at up it might be a whole other thing on you. so you got to conduct yourself in a way in the spirit and that's what's do this thing man that balance in the spirit of when to not to say something when to pass wisdom when to hold your peace things in spirit as time goes on through the power and spirit yeah i'm about you know what you got go on just real quick uh this is Revelations uh, 2 and 10. It says, So, like, if you're none of those things, behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. I'll say, if he letting you know you're going to suffer and you might get locked up. But don't be worried about all that. You know what I'm saying? But don't worry about all that. Go ahead. It says, shall cast some of you into prison. Why? That you may be tried, man. You got these niggas talking about they tried and refined already. <laughs> right now? Niggas talking, yeah. that's the name of they, 
Yeah, tried and refined. Like right. they done already been through the battles and the wars, and, yeah. and they done already been through Jacob's trouble, and they done been through it all. Man. They done been through it all, and they yeah. here to, to, to clean up our shoddy work. Yep. No, you have not been tried. You have not been refined, bro. I said, yeah. We in that process now. You yep. know what I'm saying? And it yet remains to be seen who's gonna come out on the other end and right. Go ahead. Especially because basically that's the, the product of the being finished, product. Right. That's the, the finished, finished product. product. That's what I'm saying. How do you already a finished product with a lineup, nigga? <laughs> Some of you into prison that you may be tried and you shall have tribulation 10 days. Mm -hmm. Be thou faithful unto death. Be thou faithful unto death, man. If you get locked up, if you get put in the concentration camp, whatever it may be. Just be faithful to Yahweh by Shimei Yahweh Shai anyway, man. Because at the end of the day, if you have a thorough understanding of the scriptures, you know you're not going to die. You know what I'm saying? You know this body ain't going with you. You know? You know if you do if you do so-called die, you're going to be raised up first because you died in the truth. We already understand all that. Yeah, you believe it or you don't. That's right. You know what I'm saying? It says, and I will give thee a crown of life. You know the Lord say, don't worry about concentration camps and, and being put to death and all that. And I'll give you a crown of life. If you, if you can get all that out your mind, it's what I say. Teach the word. Be instant, in season, out of season. Study to show thyself to be approved. You know, yeah. if you can get, if you, if you truly believe all these things, man, I'll give you a crown. But just going back on the main point, man, you know, since suffering for your house going through all of these different pitfalls and the heat's going to get turned up. So, you know what I'm saying? Our, our faith and our patience is going to get tried even more. God. That's why it's so important to always pay attention to the scenario the most high place you in. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. Just always being in the spirit. Right. And I'm going to get this real quick. God. Any precepts? Y'all got any precepts? Yeah. 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 Uh, we can probably close yeah. up after this one. Man. This, uh, First Peter 4. And I'll start at 13. It says, but rejoice, ye are partakers of Hamashiach's sufferings, mm -hmm. that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. So that's another yeah. thing, too, man. Yep. Niggas want to get the glory. They, niggas want to get that glory before y'all shall get his. Yeah. We're here to, be, uh, to take the low, man. We're here to suffer right now. God. Than the master. So Yahweh shall, he definitely got to get his before we get ours, man. That's right. You're not no king right now, man. You're a slave. Yeah, uh, first Peter 4 and 12, it says, Beloved, concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you, the same thing happened unto you. Right. I don't know why y'all do this and all that. And all them. Man, I can't believe this cop, cop shot this dude. Look, man. Strange to say the fiery <laughs> trial, man. Okay. You know? You're going to go through things in hell. No, no, Don't we right. all agree we're in hell, right? That's right. Is it going to be cool, good, or bad? Bad, man. First possible outcome, man. Yeah. yeah. In oh, any everything. situation. And, yeah. and, you know, the, whether it's good or bad, just thank you how about you got shot at you, you know? Is that yeah, somebody on? Brother, are y'all on? Yeah, put them on. Somebody can hold that. Somebody can hold Psalm 65 and 5. Come on, come on. Yeah, just, hey, shout out to my guest. Shout out to my guest. Shout out to Y'all hey, show one, one. y'all got rock the top. Come on, Mike. Hey, first off, I want to give all praise and glory to y'all. How about some y'all shouts? Send the bottom to the apostle that was a great deal of stone. Come, come. Brothers and all the other brothers around the world pushing this word of sincerity and truth. You know, I know your brothers are finishing up, but those points being made that I kind of just wanted to, through the spirit, add in on out of that book of Psalm 65 and 5, because. Just like the brother said, man, we, we still have yet to fulfill our trial and the confession of your how much and y'all shine the planet Earth, man. Glorify your shine to the spirit on the planet, man. Take somebody uh, that's a meek and humble role, like to cast off this world, joy of this immediate world, in order to come into this ministry, man. You have to be humble, man. That's right. Man. Hello, brother. You still there, brother? Can you hear me out? Yeah, we can hear you now. Can you hear me? Yeah, kind, yeah. kind. All right, I, I don't know uh, where I left off there, but basically, I was saying, you know, it's a humbling experience. 
going through this ministry and, and, and fighting to bring out this word and casting off this world for yourself to put to, to, to push forth this truth, man. Yep. Time. You know. So and so we haven't we haven't finished our trial yet. We haven't finished the trial of of, of this confession. You know. No. Nope. We still got a lot to go through. So if you don't mind bringing out Psalm sixty, uh, I mean uh, Isaiah sixty five and five, not Psalm Isaiah sixty five and five. Come, come, one yeah. second. Yeah. Come, right. I got it. 65, verse 5. It says, which say, stand by thyself, which remain among the graves and, <coughs> graves and lodge in the monuments, which eat swine's flesh and things is in their vessels. Is, it, is this where you walk? Isaiah, yep. which say, stand by thyself, come not yep. ne near to me, for I am holier than thou. These are a smoke. Yeah, man, so you got guys, you got guys that, you got guys coming to the truth, man, that really haven't put off the world, haven't put off the ways of sin, haven't put off the, the, the worshiping themselves, worshiping women, that, that, that are not actively putting off that uh, this fleshly man, but they want to tell you everything that you need to be doing that right you that they are already complete and refined you know mm -hmm. and so and so and going into so going into trials and tribulations then that Paul went through that type of person ain't gonna uh uh stand firm that person's gonna panic that person is gonna be too ready to justify themselves be too focused on how they how what they really want what they've been telling on, posting on, just said in the spirit of y'all watching y'all shouting. Done. Yeah, right. Come. You guys that want to, uh, you know, help me directly. Uh, I, I, I was better to take so much. Like, I was close. You know? <laughs> 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 I was close. I was close. Ain't nobody brought this out. Focus on the spirit of y'all watching y'all shine and, and what, what's being directed, what's right. being led, what, what the will of y'all watching y'all shine wants, man. So in those troubling times that's coming, they're going to be a bit my that the brothers read here. Holier than that. you going to get clipped. Keep reading that. I am holier than thou. My nose. I find it. Smoke in my nose, man. Yeah, I don't remember when that smoke was all in your nose. Mm-hmm. Nope. You know? <laughs> you know? Good. Man, that's how they that's how they make the spirit feel. The spirit is like, huh? It's like smoke down in the spirit nose. Huh? Huh? Damn. How they we are in the precept oh, yeah. Bible in the like in the precept Bible that it where no they have or anger. Man, <laughs> it says a fire that burneth all day. <laughs> a fire that burneth all day, man. Uh, 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 egotistical, narcissistic. It's not the spirit of humility and meekness. It's troubling times that uh, our ancient apostles and disciples went through, and even our, uh, our forefathers before them went through. When they uh, faith was being tried, so I just wanted to add that point, Archie. I'm saying uh, the water for let me on. Man. The water, hey, the water for your input, brother. Hey man, y'all about to shout rock rocket down. Yeah, y'all about to shout rock rocket down. Shalom. Hey, shalom. Hey, I got a quick one, man. Uh, this is uh back into that tried and refined, man. That's basically being uh, what's that word? Presumptuous. Yep. Uh, this is uh, Hebrews chapter twelve, verse two. It says. How was shot the author of our faith? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So we got to wait for you. How was shot to come back? That's the author and the finisher of our, of our faith. That's who's going to basically confirm if we were fine. Oh, no. We're going to be getting a uh, beam up out of here. That's right. That's we, it's going to be known. It, it says, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, came, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of the Most High. Yeah, man. Well, yeah. 
Like yeah, I'm gonna go back to this. Yeah, this will be the last. Oh one. yeah, 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 yeah. That's what's up. Now this is back in uh First Peter's uh four and twelve. It says, "Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened unto you. Rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Yahweh Shahumashiach's sufferings, and His glory shall be revealed. Ye may be glad also with exceeding joy." Mm -hmm. Approach for the name of Hamashiach, happy are ye. For the spirit of for the spirit of glory and of the most high rest is upon you. On their part, he is evil spoken of. He is glorified. Right. And that's just yeah. tolling in the same teaching the truth. Because hey, you know, I mean, this ain't this ain't a, a popular message. Mm -hmm. Telling telling people that they'll everything yeah. that they know and everything that they into is gonna be destroyed and wiped out. And then, then, then uh, most of the people on the planet are going to be slaves unto niggas and <laughs> people that thought were sticks and niggas. To them, that's not a popular message, man. They say on your part. Mm -hmm. He. That's right. That's right. Doing you what you got to do. So basically us doing our own little instrumental parts in, within the body, that's all for the glorification of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Yep. Not yep. for the glorification of your damn self, man. That's yep. right. We don't know the part we're going to play. Lord's will is the, of the elect uh, in this thing. But we got to give the glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Hold us up to being Israelites. That's right. And, and, and iniquity and, and lies, man. Most of our lives, you know? That's right, brother. And, 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 and truth via the internet, man. That's right. Through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Come on. You know, and the apostles on there. Yeah, this is the point right here in, in verse 15. It says, suffer as a murderer or as a thief or as a busybody in other men's matters. It says, suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, glorify the most high on this behalf. Right. So just basically us taking the low, staying in the spirit, even when people come up on the highways and the byways, even if we get pulled over by a cop, talk about turning the other cheek. Yep. So this is the ways that the men of the Lord have to turn the other cheek. And all of these different situations, man, we know that homosexuals should be put to death, but you don't see us doing that. Right. That just shows in every example in this hell that we're in, man, we have to operate through the spirit. We have to be willing to suffer as Yahweh Shah did, because in doing so, you know? Point. I had a quick scripture. Just go ahead, brother. This is uh, First Thessalonians chapter 3. I'll start at the top. And no longer forbear, we thought it good to be left at Athens alone. Our brother and minister of the Most High, in the gospel of Yahweh Shai, to establish you and to comfort you concerning your faith, that no man should be moved by these afflictions. For yourselves know that they're unto. So what Paul was saying, what, what Paul was telling the church at Thessalonica was that look, the afflictions that are going to come upon you, don't let don't let this trouble you. Don't if somebody comes by and blows their horn on the highway, don't just be kind. You know what I'm saying? Somebody going to walk up and say, "You guys are the devil." They, they call the devil up. Yeah. If, up if, and leave, if that brother, if that brother Bequasha roll up on you and ask you the name of the Lord, you don't pack up and leave. <laughs> 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 don't <be moved> by. <laughs> Shout out to that brother Bakwasha, man. <laughs> it says that no man should be moved. And that word, going back into the Greek, that word literally means to be troubled. That's you right. know, don't be troubled by the afflictions that are going to come because this needs to happen. All right. Know that we are appointed there unto, man. So you know that this is going to happen to you. And has this understanding that we are in the forefront and we're in Satan's living room, cursing out everybody. <laughs> Everybody's going to come with at us with. All sorts of afflictions, afflictions of words. It could be physical afflictions too. That's right. All right. Brother. Verse four says, "We were with you, right? For our tribulation in the past, and now you know. Yep. So you can just imagine how Paul is right. Is look, we told you before when we was there yep. that you were going. <laughs> I saw it happen." And now I'm writing to you again. Yeah. He says that uh, before, it says, for verily when we were with you, we told you before that relation, as it came to pass, and now you know. 
the past and look, in your bullshit when I was running to you that this was going to happen. That's man. right. That's right. Right? In the last verse, verse, verse five, I can no longer forbear your faith. At least by some means the tempter has tempted you in our labor be in vain. To go out there and check on them to see if they if they were weak in the faith, man. The tempter came and tempted them and, and their labor was just in vain. It was just in vain. I mean, you gotta hold fast knowing that affliction is gonna come, man. Right, right. We got a head start because you know what I'm saying? We're not ignorant of Satan's devices. And that word ignorant means to not know. We, we got a, a head start in the game. So that's the hope to keep us going in this thing, Lord willing. That's right. You know, so with that, man, brothers, just be wise. Us up to be judges. So you got to discern your ways, man. Operating in every aspect in life, just in prudence, in, in vigilance, being attentive. Always paying attention to your surroundings, man. The scenario that you're in, it could lead to what? Sudden, much. If you're not taking heed to your ways. Yeah. Destructive calamities, you know what I'm saying? Certainly. There's a breakdown of that word vigilance, you know, out of, out of 1 Peter, the fourth chapter. So with that, I think the point's been made. Hopefully it'll edify you, brothers. Uh, call halal, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Want to get double honors to your apostles and elders of Great Millstone and just want to say shalom to you, uh, sincere brothers, and also for you know, sincere uh, sisters that's watching us, man. Stay humble, just keep watching. You know, the most high, he's about to raise his people back up. God. So, with that, just want to say shalom. 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 I'm trying to see.